Next up with the ribbon routine is Jenny. Don't break the labels. And she sticks the landing. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. This week we are still drowning in orders and... We got some brand new packaging we want to show you. We also got a really sweet gift from a friend. And we're building more boards than we have ever built in one batch before. So stick around and... Watch our chaos! <laughs> we're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. All right, good morning. It is 7.15 on a Friday morning, uh, and usually it, the day and time doesn't matter um, necessarily when we're vlogging, but it matters today because this weekend is our monthly drill weekend with the Air Force, and we have to be on a C-130 flying to Mississippi in like two and a half hours, but we have orders to fulfill this morning to get to the UPS store before we leave. Yeah, so I just wanna get those done and out of the way, especially as the holidays are approaching. I wanna to try to get stuff in the mail as soon as possible because it's only a matter of time until we start experiencing like shipping delays and everybody's getting clogged up trying to send gifts everywhere. So we are gonna fulfill a cherry charcuterie board and a refinishing kit this morning before we have to change and drive down to meet our guys who are picking us up on the C-130 to take us to drill weekend. Let's go. So I know this morning is pretty crazy, but mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't nearly as crazy as Sunday was when we came back from Thanksgiving. With oh your my family. gosh. Yeah, that was a crazy Sunday. That was a crazy day. Let's remember that, shall we? Oh my gosh, do we have a lot of stuff to do. This this is the list. This is Oh, I dropped, dropped it. a list. Off to a great start. This is just the stuff that we have to do today. So I put stars by the things that can't get skipped. Um, that's basically everything. Yeah. So <laughs> could be a long day. So Jenny is working on some of those board fulfillments, and while she's doing that, I have got to catch up on new stud stack members because we had a few people join while we were gone, so we gotta get them their pin and their sticker and their card and all sorts of stuff. All right, got them ready to go. All that's left is to put them in the mailbox and they'll be out. All right, next thing on the list, I guess, is to help Jenny out with fulfilling some of these orders. I know one of them is a board refinishing kit, so I can probably go ahead and get that packed up for her and while she's playing with the laser. My hands are too big. Also, we got something in the mail the other day and we were just not expecting it. Um, I'm gonna try not to cry. This is a push stick that Drew Fisher makes. Uh, it's his design, his template. He built these nice ed end grain walnut push sticks and he was gonna sell them on his website. And instead he engraved and inset, inlaid the logo of a couple YouTubers that he really likes to watch. And he sent us this really nice Really nice note, um, just explaining why he sent it to us, and it was just really nice. And I, I don't have the right words to say um, 
but, but that's okay. All I need to do is, I'm just trying to say thank you. Drew, it means so much to us that you would send us one of these, um, much less inlay our logo and say all the nice things you said in that letter. Um, Drew Fisher, if you don't know who he is, I, first off, where have you been? Second off, uh, go check out his channel. It's Drew Fisher, Fisher Shop. Um, his sense of humor comes through in his, in his videos and it, they're just, they're really well done. He makes some incredible projects. Um, he definitely deserves your subscription. Uh, please go check him out. But Drew, if you're watching, thank you so much. You did not have to do this. Uh, just means the world to us that you did. So it was really touching and we're very, very thankful. It's just one of those days. All right, well, we just finished boxing up some boards. Yes. Um, yeah, we had an upset customer and I don't know, we don't know what happened. So we just we sent him a new board and we're asking for the old one back just to figure out what happened. Um, yeah, so that'll be interesting. Stay tuned to figure out what <laughs> happened. Anyway, so we'll wait till we see the board come back to see what was going on with that. Yeah. What else? Oh, uh, Swarry Sunday. Yeah, we're about to go hang out with Stuck yes. Stack for a bit. I'm so very excited about that. That's yeah. it's almost time for that. So we probably need to stop vlogging and go hang out with the guys and girls in the Stud Stack. We'll be right back. <laughs> so I have an order for somebody who needs a retirement gift and is using one of our cutting boards, and I have a second order for a cutting board along with a refinishing kit. So we're gonna go refill those. Refill, refill, fulfill. <sighs> Good morning. So we still have some things left on our to-do list from yesterday. Uh, we also have to do holiday board orders. That's what's next to me over here. I have to engrave all the front of those. And we also have to make the holiday cards that go in the board boxes with those boards. But before we get started on any boards, we are first gonna check and see if we have any new members in the stud stack, yay! Yesterday we had a really good soiree Sunday. What was our soiree Sunday about? Soiree Sunday, if you don't know, is when we do our video chat with everybody in the stud stack and we just ask questions, talk about lots of topics. Like yesterday was really good. We talked about holiday sales and how people are marketing themselves, talked a lot about pricing because a lot of the members in there are starting to get really busy for the holidays. And it's to the point where like, they almost can't keep up with the orders. And so we're like, man, it's time to raise prices at that point. And so we just had a really good conversation um, about how to raise prices and, and manage orders and all that stuff. So join the stud stack if you want to have cool conversations like that. Boss, a little too close to the sun. How am I supposed to get around? I this? don't know. I do it all the time. So we took a quick break to make uh, some Christmas content for Instagram and TikTok and all that good stuff. But I mainly got the Christmas decorations out of the attic so that I could get some really good pictures because I don't have too many of those right now. So I think after I get done engraving a bunch of them, I'm gonna lay out my white poster board with some Christmas decorations and towels and uh, oven mitts and all sorts of festive looking stuff that goes along with cutting and charcuterie boards. So that's why I look like this. Now 
Next up with the ribbon routine is Jenny. <laughs> Don't break the labels. <laughs> this is the most labels we've had. Ever. All at once, yeah. That's a lot. All right, let's not tear any of them. Yeah. We're done. Hi. All 20, but you're in the way. Show the people what All you did. All 20 boards. And fun fact, this is actually an order of 30. These are just 20 of the 30 that are getting sent out today. I think we'll probably end up fulfilling the remaining 10 in December. Yep, anyway, gotta go to this post or the UPS store before they close. Also, in the last couple of weeks, we've been building another batch of boards. I don't think we've put that in a video yet, but it's been ongoing in the background. So here's some footage from, I don't know, some boards we've been trying to make. <laughs> new day, new Bucky shirt. You're not wearing a Bucky shirt. I'm not wearing a Bucky shirt. Today, we get to turn 400 board feet of lumber into... Cutting boards, because we're almost out. It should produce about 150 cutting boards, if my math is right. Which is good, because as it stands right now, we're technically out. Like we have an outstanding order for boards, and we need like... Oh, we're always out. Yeah. We only keep about 50% of our sold board inventory like on hand. But that order is gonna need to be fulfilled. This is more lumber than we've ever had in the shop before. Yes. Kind of nervous. We're gonna have to get really strategic with where we set stuff. Uh, Jenny's helping me out in the shop because we worked together to get her stuff done. Now she can help me get my stuff done. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some board building montage. I'm sure we'll be talking at you soon. Gotta go, buddy. How many boards is it gonna make? I don't know, how many boards do you think it's gonna make? Last time we made 75 with one batch of lumber, right? So we doubled that. It's a lot of boards. What, was that 150? 150. Would you have like a physics degree or something? It doesn't mean I can do mental math quickly. Quick note before we get started. Somebody suggested that we turn this fence 90 degrees over and then we can lower the bandsaw guide bearings uh, much lower, closer to the wood. So thank you, whoever that was. Uh, um, everybody's saying lower the bandsaw blade guides if the fence was in the way. I didn't know you could tilt the fence because I'm an idiot, but you already knew that.
if our calculations are correct, these are enough slats to make what is it? 163 boards? Yeah, 163. 163 cutting boards. Man, that's a lot. We also noticed with our fancy little spreadsheet that by making so many at once, we drastically reduce our like board labor costs. It goes from like $10 a board just in labor to like $5 a board or even $4 a board. Just depends on how many we actually make out of this. But yeah, for a team of two people, you're looking at like three to four dollars a board in labor at uh i think it's like 10 to 12 dollars an hour mm -hmm. is what we have estimated so yeah All right, another day, another shirt. Um, so we have enough to make 160 whatever boards I said the other day, but uh, I just don't see the need to make them all right now, especially as we're moving soon. I mean, you knew that, but like, I don't have news yet. I don't have you, don't freak out. I don't have news yet, but very soon, we're gonna show you where we're moving to. Um, anyway, so, we only need like, this is 40 boards and I don't think we're gonna need many more than that. And I'd hate to just put all the work out. We got a lot of stuff to do and we just don't need boards as much as I need to go do other stuff to prepare for the move. So I think I'm just gonna finish these 40 boards um, as is, get Jenny plenty of inventory stocked up and if I need to make more, they're ready to go. Hey there. So as if this week didn't have enough craziness going on, we just got a phone call from the UPS store who told us, hey, you got a bunch of boxes and we'd really like to get them out of here and could you please pick them up? And we were like, what boxes? And then we remembered that we ordered 200 more yes. boxes. You know, the black boxes you guys are always asking about and they all showed up. So this is one of our old boxes. We took an old box and we just marked all over it. You can't really read the Sharpie too much. Most of the people getting these don't know that it's coming. And so we wanted to amp up the emotion a little bit, get them excited to open it. So, all right, so new box, old box. Um, you can right away see our new slogan that we have on the top. It says, we see a party in your future. Same logo, just gives a little bit more uh, suspense. And then boom, we got a nice pretty picture. We've got all our social media stuff in the corner so people know how to find us, where we are. Be together, the main message of our brand. And then we've hidden some of these Samaras uh, in the little tree diagram. So, and of course the board will be down here covering up the bottom. So it'll all be fluid and inclusive and look really nice. Don't you think that this is much nicer than just the nasty words here? I like the picture myself. All right, so right now I know there's about 300 of you that are halfway through typing a comment asking where we get these boxes from. So probably the number one question we get recently is where do we get these nice boxes from? All you gotta do is go to Google and type in custom printed mailer boxes and you will find 20 to 30 companies. They're all about the same. They probably all use the same manufacturer. They all cost about the same amount of money. All you gotta do is pick your favorite and get your boxes made. Ours are what, 18 by two by, 18 by 12 by two. That's the size of our boxes. Full color printing front on both sides, but that's what we use. Yes, they're expensive, but at the end of the day, it's about the customer experience and that's priceless. Well, it's not priceless. They put a price on it, but we're willing to pay it. 
Anyway, so it does not matter what company you pick. We've tried several of them. They all deliver the same boxes to you. Also, another shipping upgrade that we've made. Remember our nice new fancy tape dispenser? That's my new favorite toy. Jenny, you want to- It's the best. You want to pull out a small piece of our new custom printed yeah, tape? Yeah, so you've only seen the brown tape. Oh no, you can't drop it. Especially not sticky side down. Ta-da! And it's just this repeating pattern over and over and over. So that's what goes on the brown outer boxes. So when we seal everything up. It adds suspense too, because the people who are getting you who aren't expecting it, they're already getting super cute packaging. It's not just some unknown, plain, unmarked cardboard box. It's got some sort of like labeling. They've at least got a question now of who is this and what is in it, which is really the whole point. Yep. I mean, look at that nice board. Isn't that a nice board? It's a nice board. Looks great. I like the cherry ones. We don't sell very many I of them. I love the cherry ones. They're my favorite, but uh, yeah, we sell the least amount of cherry. We do a ton of walnut though. Anyway, we're running out of time. Jenny's got to box that up. I got to get on my flight suit. Well, Jenny does too, but we got to get out the door because the airplane's coming to pick us up soon and we don't want to miss it. So hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, do all the things, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan.